Eagles. My name is Jersey. My name is Jasmine. And, and you're watching SP YouTube. Don't forget, Saturday Scholars is this week to clear up any absences and get any missed work. Be there. Happy Friday, Eagles. Election week is coming up March 19th through the 23rd. All class officer and ASB positions are open. You do not have to be an ASB to run for any of the positions. However, class officer positions are exclusive to your class only. As far as ASB presidency, I can honestly tell you it's been a humbling position. I've gotten so many opportunities in meeting new students, staff members, and board members across the district. I can also tell you that it's a lot of fun. We bring a lot of energy and pride to this campus. So if you guys have any questions on campaigning, where to start, or how to begin, let me know or stop by the ASB room, which is here, room 910, anytime today or sometime in the next week. Have a great day, Eagles. This is your Sam School Varsity Dance Team here in Orlando, Florida, and this is Sports! With new season come new beginnings. We're your new sports anchors. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Carly. And I'm Ian, your new sports reporter. And you're watching Sports! sports. Congrats to Track and their hard fought meet against Tory Pines on Thursday. Good luck to baseball in their game against Murrieta Valley on Saturday. Hey, Livia, are you going to join ASB next year? I don't know yet. What do they do? I don't know. Did you say ASB? Well, I'm an ASB. Here are a few things that we do. We take care of fun, exciting student-based activities such as school dances, fun pep rallies, and inspiring retreats that will shape the entirety of your high school experience. Wow, Amy, that looks like so much fun. I know, we should join. You should definitely join. <laughs> Hey Chungas, in honor of Shelby, and because I know she's gonna get better, I'm doing the pink thing. I'm dyeing my hair. So this is before, and we'll see what this little cupcake looks like on me afterwards. Ta-ta! My name is Samir Bielma and I um, participated in the donation challenge and now I get to dye my hair pink so I'm doing this for cancer awareness. When I was a sophomore in high school, I decided to attend a board meeting because I wanted to speak to the district regarding an issue that I saw on my own campus with the students and how they were negative be negatively being affected. But when I went to the board meeting, I saw that there was already a student board member up there and he was passionately talking about how students were negatively being affected and the actions that the district should take. And when I saw that, I, was, I felt really empowered to run as a student board member because I saw that there was someone up there and he was speaking up for us and I felt that I could do that for the district. And being a student board member is a really great opportunity and I think that everyone should take it. Recently, the superintendent came up to us and he talked to us about the Xanax outbreaks that were happening at schools on, um, in our district. And when he came to us, I was really surprised because he actually wanted to hear our opinion. And I shouldn't be surprised because when you're on the board, they actually really care about what you have to say. And when it came to the Xanax outbreaks, I actually collaborated with the district and drug-free communities with Escondido Education Compact. And we were able to set up parent group meetings where I, my, myself, and other um, members in DFC were able to present regarding issues of drugs and like how to prevent drugs with students and what signs to see with students and additionally like what the drug does to your body and uh, the legal reasons and what parents could do to like prevent it. 
I decided to run to become a student board member on the Board of Education because I wanted to serve as an opportunity maker for my peers. A lot of the time students don't see the genuine impact that they are able to create on their campuses and I wanted to um, be a path maker in making sure that they are able to become stakeholders in their own educational careers. One of the um, visions that I had as a student board member this year on the Board of Education was creating a way for students to directly um, voice their own ideas and opinions regarding their campuses and regarding their educations. And Carolina, the other student board rep, and I, we decided to formulate these student forums, which we would hold at every school site. And in this manner, we would be able to ask students directly their ideas for their campuses, the visions that they had, issues that they were seeing on their campuses, and ways in which they thought that they could fix these problems that they were facing. So through these student forums, we were really able to directly engage with our peers. And in this manner, we were directly able to empower them to take a hold of their education and voice their own opinions and ideas. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this opportunity. Being a student board member is truly what you make of it. When it comes to being a student board member, it can sometimes feel like a job because you have to try to juggle so many things at once. But I think it's an, a great opportunity that no one should, should miss because you get to sit on a board with elected officials and they actually do take the time to listen to you. And you get to network with other students from other school sites to try to represent them on the board. Additionally, you get to network with other students from other districts. So I think it's a really great opportunity and no one should miss out on it. If this sounds like something that you're interested in doing, the applications are currently out and they will be due March 16th, which is a Friday. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact us or your local school site for the application. Good morning, Eagles. Next Wednesday, we'll be having a school walkout on March 14th. We are not walking out with a political message, rather in remembrance of the lives that were lost in Florida. We're uniting with the message of hashtag never again. On that day, make sure to come out decked out in blue and gold in order to show our spirit and pride from one Eagle family to another. See you guys there. It's been a great week, Eagles. And don't forget, prom tickets are on sale right now for only $68. Make sure you get them now before prices go up. And don't forget, you have until April 28th to come and ask me as your date. United, United we soar! soar.